Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors, in a windstorm here today. Today, we're going to be giving away that package we talked about on the last video. Uh, if you can bear with us, that would be great to the end. We're reviewing a canoe today. I purchased one to get back out on the water. So this is a Radisson canoe that you're going to see in the video. And there's a Sports Pal and a Radisson made by the same company. In Canada, it's called Sports Pal. Radisson is in the United States. This is mostly in the north, northeast part of the United States, upper Midwest. For some reason, it's not catching on out west, not sure. Now, I've been in all kinds of canoes. I've been in Mad Rivers and Old Towns and fiberglass canoes. This is an all aluminum canoe. And the reason why I focused on that is for weight because I'm not 25, I have a bad back, and I can pick this canoe up over my head and put it on top of the Forerunner. This is 41 pounds. This is a double peaked, as opposed to having a square stern. The square stern adds about 10 to 12 pounds onto the canoe. All right, so here it is. It has these sponsoons on here on either side, and this is to help give it ballast. And... So one of the things I wanted to talk about briefly is they say that this is a very, very stable canoe. It's 38 inches across the beam, which is very wide for a canoe, no question about that. It's very difficult for this canoe to tip over. That does not mean it is any safer in terms of you falling out of it. It's still a canoe. So if I got in this canoe like this, you're going to see, if I'm in the water, it's easy for me to flip out of this. So, yes, you can stand in it if you're in calm waters and fishing, not a problem. And the canoe is stable. But just don't get misinformed that it's so stable that you're not going to fall out. If you get in it in the wrong way, you're going to fall out of the canoe. The proper way to get in the canoe is you come, you grab each side on the gunnels, you put your foot in, you bend your back at 90, and you come in like this, not over the side. It comes with two of these paddles, and they're made for rowing. That is definitely a Canadian thing, I'm here to tell you. In 40, 50 years in the outdoors, I've never seen a North American guy in the U.S. rowing a canoe. And these are, I have to admit, the, the, these paddles, kind of cheap, very, very cheap. They are very lightweight. They come with the uh, canoe. I may have to take these off and use them just to paddle with. But that's what they are. And that is kind of a Canadian thing. So my Canadian buddies out there, talk to me about that. All right, I had a heck of a time finding seats for this. Back and forth to Cabela's a couple times, then returned them. Expensive. I ended up going with the cheaper GCI seats. And I did a short on these. These work excellent. They're really quick to install. They go right on like this. Onto this and then you can basically clamp these down underneath. And then you have clamps here. These, you can extend this back so you can lean. It has a lumbar support, has a place in back to store some of your gear. And I'll give you a show you how light it is. So it's pretty doggone easy to pick up for one person. This is the middle size. We have a 12 foot, a 14 foot, 16 foot. Aluminum, very light. However, rocks is not its friend. You hit rocks, you're gonna put a hole in it. That's the only issue with this. This is really going to be my water Uber, or as my wife calls it, a barge. I'm going to basically transport one other person, a couple dozen decoys in the fall, and then I've already had it out once. That was a fiasco. We'll get into that another time. So, really, I've loved this canoe so far in the brief time I've had it. 
It's lightweight, serves my purposes. And it comes with also this motor mount, two and a half horse in the US. In Canada, you can go with three horse. I have a 30 pound electric motor, a uh, 30 pound thrust that was given to me by a friend. And I may have to get something a little stronger on the poundage and thrust on that. That's it guys. Would I recommend this? Depends on what you're getting a canoe for. If you want a touring canoe and just paddling around, probably not this one. If you're older and you have a hard time lifting it, get something light. It's fantastic. Future, we're going to talk about canoe safety, what you need to have in the boat, different for different states. In Illinois, you have to have a whistle for sure. You needed a life preserver. All right. Giveaway time. I have, we had a lot of contestants this time. It was nice to see. We have 15. We have a two or three women in the mix. That was really nice to see for the giveaway. 15 of these little yellow page round balls, and we're going to pick that one. The winner is Susan Wyrick. You have won the package. Congratulations, Susan. Susan, you're new, at least I think you are, to Survive Outdoors. So how to contact me is through Instagram or, or Facebook, at Survive Outdoors. Find me there. Tell me where to mail this to. In the next few days, I'll get this mailed out to you. All right, guys, keep your eyes on the horizon, your face to the wind. A lot of medical stuff coming up in the future. Be safe.